Well, welcome back back. It is a great spot to visit year round in St. Paul. We're talking about the Como Conservatory known for world class flower shows, but you won't believe all that goes into creating those shows. Garden guy Dale Kay is taking us inside the greenhouse to see what's growing inside. Good day, everyone. One of my favorite things, of course, in St. Paul is Como Park Zoo and Conservatory and especially all their flower shows, but there is a lot of work that goes into preparing for a flower show. So we're lucky to have Ariel Dresser this morning with us. Tell me a little bit about what goes into preparing for a flower show, because I know there's an awful lot of horticulture involved. Absolutely, be happy to go through that. Uh, my favorite part is picking out a color scheme. We start that process a year in advance, and then we order our cuttings and seeds, and we do most of our production right here in house. We have an acre and a half under glass where we do our plant production. So our next fall flower show is going to be a combination of mums that are purple and green and white. You can't tell yet. And these are all, these are all set right here. Yep. Yeah. And we received these in June. They were cuttings about this big. And uh, we've been growing them on in our greenhouses. This is the special greenhouse, the only one of our many greenhouses that has a blackout curtain. And in order to time these flower shows just right so they arrive on schedule for our visitors, we use this greenhouse because it has a black curtain that we can drape over the top to control the day length. Mums, poinsettias like this one, they're all very day length uh, sensitive. So that's how we schedule them to arrive on time. That's one of the things I guess that people might not realize about horticulture is you have the ability to tinker with bloom times and time them just right. Exactly, and when we have a four or five week show, it's really important to dial it in just so. Our mum show is gonna arrive in two different parts. We'll have a first part that's purples and pinks, and then we'll transition to a second show, each lasting about four weeks. So our first one is um, the 8th of October, and then totally different color palette when you arrive in November for your next visit. So with an acre and a half, or roughly, of, of greenhouse, who, how many employees do you have? How does that all work? You can see in the background, we have a couple of volunteers. We rely heavily on our volunteer core, but we have about 11 horticulturalists working inside the greenhouse and a whole separate crew that takes care of our gardens and grounds around Como Park and on the zoo as well. So a lot of work goes into making this place what it is. And roughly how many potted mums go into the fall flower show? Uh, so we have three cuttings per pot, but for pots alone, we have approximately 700 for each of the fall flower shows. You're doing your own seeding as well, correct? We do, yeah. And there's a seedling tray on the bench over here that's um, full of little tiny week old seedlings. This is a euphorbia that will go into our uh, holiday flower show along with the poinsettias. So we have a seeding chamber and we time those seeds for outdoor use as well as the flower shows in the conservatory. I often like to say the, the better the soil, the greener the thumb. Are you, are you, do you have your own special mix here or does it vary per crop? A lot of our tropicals grow in a bark heavy mix um, and then all of these mums are planted in a, a mix that's a lot of peat and rock wool. However, we're trying to transition away from using peat. We're thinking of adding in some more bark mixes, decomposed bark, hydrofiber, and moving away from relying so heavily on those peat potting soils. And what, what do you like the most about flower shows? I love the flower shows because they change all the time. It's just rapid fire, six different color schemes a year, so chances are when you come back for your visit, it's gonna look totally different than when you were here the time before. And this is the end result all the labor, all the fruits of the hard work, is the flower show itself. This is the summer flower show, and it is truly alive. It's got a lot of color. We've got a lot of coleus, impatience, canna lilies, and I just love the big leaf philodendrons that are in this display as well. And then if you can believe it, they take all this out, right? They take it all out, they start fresh, with the fall show that we just saw. So if you wanna get the last kind of little gasp of summer, you can see this flower show in all its glory. It ends October 2nd, and then they bring in all those beautiful mums uh, for a changeover for the fall flower show, then right after that, the holiday flower show. So always a great place to come here when you're downtown St. Paul. Make a quick little stop out here at Como Zoo and Conservatory because it's definitely worth catching a flower show. Back to you.